BL202 Electrical Troubleshooting Part 2, MGB and XJ6, XJ12 Windshield Wipers, by Jaguar Rover Triumph, Inc. A training module. Any supplemental diagrams or information are included at the end of the video, where you can halt and screen print if your wish. Module revived by Jaguar Clubs of North America JCNA and Coventry Foundation. See www.jcna.com and coventryfoundation.org. Please note that these materials were recovered from audio tapes and slides stored for more than 40 years. The quality has suffered on some tapes, and we apologize. Jaguar Clubs of North America and Coventry Foundation thank you for your support. Note that Joe Lucas did not provide the audio tape or slide film. Blasted wipers don't work. Ah, that's better. Now the bloody things are going crazy. Back at the BLM service shop, Mr. Fasty starts out to find the trouble. After hours of trial and error, he still can't find the fault. Just in time, British Leyland Motors presents... Electrical Troubleshooting Part 2. In this program, we'll describe the MGB and Jaguar XJ6 and 12 windshield wiper systems. And we'll illustrate the troubleshooting procedure for both systems. Okay, let's start by describing the MGB wiper system. There are three main components the wiper motor and transmission unit mounted under the windshield, the control switch mounted on the steering column, and the interconnecting wiring harness. The MGB uses a two-speed motor and a two-position switch to control the motor. Three brushes in the motor are used to provide the two different wiper speeds, slow running and fast running. To describe the operation, we'll look at how the terminals in the switch connector are linked in the various switch positions. Then we'll show how the current flows through the completed circuit. The terminals are numbered 1 through 9. However, only terminals 5, 7, 8, and 9 are used in the wiper circuits. With the switch in the slow running position, terminals 8 and 7 are linked. Current flows from the battery positive terminal through the fuse, switch, and wiring harness to brush B in the motor. The current then flows through the motor's armature to brush A, which is connected to ground. With the circuit completed back to the battery negative terminal through the ground connection, the wiper motor turns at slow speed, operating the wipers. When the switch is moved to the fast running position, terminals 8 and 9 are linked. Current flows from the battery to brush C in the wiper motor, through the armature and then to ground through brush A. With this circuit completed back to the battery negative terminal, the motor turns at fast speed. The faster motor speed is caused by the position of brush C on the armature. When the switch is in the off position, terminals 5 and 7 are linked. The motor now comes under the control of the limit switch in the motor housing. This switch is in turn operated by a cam on the underside of the gear wheel. With this circuit connection, Current flows directly from the fuse to the limit switch in the wiper motor through a separate connection. The limit switch is initially in the on position, completing the slow running circuit through terminals 5 and 7 in the connector, brush B, the armature, brush A, and then to ground. 
The wiper motor continues to turn at slow run until the cam on the gear wheel depresses the limit switch, which breaks the circuit, cutting the current flow and stopping the wiper motor. The cam on the gear wheel is positioned to stop the wiper arm at the bottom of the arc. This is how the MGB wiper circuit appears on a wiring diagram. For 1977, a single wipe function has been added to the MGB wiper system. The switch connector has also been changed with the wires terminating at different numbered terminals. When this function is selected by momentarily moving the lever to the top number one position, the wiper motor turns at slow speed as terminals three and two are linked. As the lever is returned to off, the motor comes under the control of the limit switch as terminals one and two are linked and the three two link is broken. Only one sweep is made before the limit switch breaks the circuit, stopping the wiper arms at the bottom of their arc. Here's the 77 MGB wiring diagram. The Jaguar XJ6 and 12 wiper system uses a similar motor and transmission unit as the MGB. However, a parking function has been added. Additionally, a relay has been added to the Jaguar circuit to handle the multiple switching and additional current loads necessary to perform all the functions. Because of the complexity of the Jaguar circuit, will illustrate its operation using a wiring diagram. The three main components, the switch, the relay, and the motor are indicated. Notice the position of the three switch contacts in the relay with the coil not energized. As we did with the MGB, we'll explain how the terminals of the switch connector are linked as the various functions are selected. The terminals are numbered 1 through 8. Since the actual connector is not numbered, note the position of the male and female side of the connector when determining the terminal numbers. Now, let's explain the Jaguar circuits. When slow running is selected, terminals 3, 6, and 8 are linked, as are terminals 2 and 4. The linking of terminals 2 and 4 completes the relay coil circuit to ground from terminal 10 on the relay. Current is applied to terminals 9 and 11 on the relay. With the circuit completed to terminal 11, the coil is energized and shifts all three contacts. Current is supplied to motor brush B from terminal 8 in the switch and through terminals 5 and 6 in the relay, which have been switched by the energized coil. The current then flows through the motor armature to brush A and to ground through relay contacts 3 and 2, which have also been switched by the energized coil. This, of course, causes the motor to turn at slow speed and operate the wipers. The current flow through relay terminals 8 and 9 locks the relay in the energized position. The reason for this will be explained later. When fast running is selected, terminals 3, 6, and 1 are linked, as are terminals 2 and 4. The relay is energized and all terminals are connected as in the slow running mode. Notice that the connection to brush B has been broken by the position of the wiper switch. The motor circuit is completed directly from connector terminal 1 to brush C through the armature, brush A, relay terminals 2 and 3, and then to ground. This causes the motor to turn at fast speed. When the off position is selected, terminals 5 and 8 are linked. Terminals 2 and 4 remain linked. This connection puts the motor under the control of the limit switch in the motor housing. As you can see, current flows directly to the limit switch, through the wiper switch, 
relay terminals five and six, brush B, the armature, brush A, and then to ground through relay terminals two and three. The wiper motor continues to turn at slow speed until the cam on the wheel box depresses the limit switch. This breaks the circuit and the wipers stop at the bottom of their arc. The relay remains lock energized until the ignition switch is turned off or the wiper park position is selected. Park position is selected by the driver momentarily holding the wiper switch lever down. Initially, the circuit is completed as in the final off with the relay lock energized. When the lever is moved down, the link between terminals two and four is broken. This breaks the relay locking circuit, which de-energizes the coil and all three contacts shift. Now the wiper motor comes under the control of the park switch. The park switch is mounted on the wiper motor housing. Because the relay contacts are shifted to the de-energized position, the polarity, positive, negative, of the motor supply is reversed. The motor now turns in the opposite direction. An eccentric cam on the drive wheel increases the travel of the wiper arm. When the wiper arms reach the park position, the park switch is operated. This applies 12 volts to both sides of the motor armature through brushes A and B, which dynamically breaks the motor armature. And the wipers stop in the park position at the bottom of the windshield. A single wipe is selected by the driver momentarily lifting the wiper switch lever. As in the park position, the circuit is initially completed in final off with the relay lock energized. When the lever is lifted, terminals three, six, and eight are linked. This is the same linking as slow running. When the lever is released, the switch returns to off, linking terminals five and eight, which puts the motor under the control of the limit switch. Only one sweep is made before the limit switch breaks the circuit, stopping the wiper arms at the bottom of their arc. This completes the description of the MGB and Jaguar sedan wiper systems. Now, let's look at the troubleshooting procedures. We'll begin with the MGB. When a fault occurs, we must first determine whether the fault lies in the motor or in the switches and wiring harness. To do this, it is necessary to make up a test harness with a plug to fit the socket on the wiper motor housing. The plug should have four wires connected to it using the colors shown here. Connecting a 12 volt power source with an ammeter in series across the various combinations of the test harness leads, we'll be able to determine if the motor is operating okay and the current draw of the motor. All tests should be made with a wet windshield. Start by removing the vehicle plug from the wiper motor and fit the test harness. Test number one, slow running. Connect the red wire to the battery positive side with a jumper wire and connect the blue wire to the battery negative side. The wipers should operate at slow speed. Observe the ammeter reading while the wipers are operating. Test number two, fast running. Connect the yellow wire to the battery positive side and the blue wire to the battery negative side. The wipers should operate at fast speed. Again, observe the ammeter reading. Test number three, off. 
Connect the red wire to the battery positive side and the white wire to the battery negative side. The wipers should move to the bottom of their arcs and stop. If the wipers do not operate in one or more of the three tests, a defective motor is indicated. If the wipers operate OK in all three tests, the fault lies in the switch or the wiring harness. If the current draw is greater than 4 amps during any of the three tests, excessive friction in the rack or link drive mechanism is indicated. The correct sequencing of wiper switch connections can be checked using an ohmmeter or a test light. Disconnect the plug connector on the wiper switch harness under the instrument panel. On pre-1977 cars with the switch moved to the slow running position, terminals 7 and 8 should indicate continuity when they are connected. Terminals 5 and 9 should be isolated, indicating no continuity. With the switch in the fast running position, terminals 8 and 9 should indicate continuity when they're connected. Terminals 5 and 7 should be isolated, indicating no continuity. In the off position, terminals 5 and 7 should indicate continuity when they're connected. Terminals 8 and 9 should be isolated, indicating no continuity. On the 1977 MGB, the following readings should be obtained. In slow running, terminals 3 and 2 should indicate continuity. Terminals 1 and 4 should be isolated. In fast running, terminals 3 and 4 should indicate continuity. Terminals 1 and 2 should be isolated. In off, terminals 1 and 2 should indicate continuity. Terminals 3 and 4 should be isolated. If these readings are not obtained, the wiper switch assembly is defective. To troubleshoot the wiring harness, proceed as described in our first electrical troubleshooting FASTI program. Systematically check out the wiring harness until the fault is found. A fault in the Jaguar wiper system is isolated between the motor and the switching by the same means as we isolated the MGB fault. On the Jaguar, however, two test harnesses are required, which should be wired as shown. Test harness A plugs into the nose end of the motor, and test harness B plugs into the gear wheel end of the motor. With an ammeter in series with the positive leg, test the wiper motor in the slow running, fast running, off, and park positions. The connections for each test are contained in your workbook and in training aid S1027. Be sure the windshield is wet when performing the tests. If the wipers do not operate OK in any of the four tests, the motor is defective. But if the wipers operate properly, the fault lies in the switch, relay, or wiring harness. If the current draw exceeds 5 amps in any of the tests, excessive friction in the rack or link drive mechanism is indicated. The relay and switch can be checked using an ohmmeter. With the relay removed and no current applied to coil terminals 10 and 11, the ohmmeter should indicate continuity when the following connections are made. Terminal 1 to Terminal 3. Terminal 4 to Terminal 6. Terminal 7 to Terminal 9. Terminal 10 to Terminal 11. Terminals 2, 5, and 8 should be isolated. 
With 12 volts applied across terminals 10 and 11 to energize the relay, the following terminal connections are made. Terminal 2 to terminal 3. Terminal 5 to terminal 6. Terminal 8 to terminal 9. Terminals 1, 4, and 7 should be isolated. The correct sequencing of switch connections is checked at the terminal pins at the plug connector of the switch harness. An ohmmeter or test lamp are used to check the connections. In the slow position, the ohmmeter should indicate continuity with terminals 3, 6, and 8 connected and terminals 2 and 4 connected. Terminals 1, 5, and 7 should be isolated. In the fast position, continuity should be indicated with terminals 1, 3, and 6 connected and terminals 2 and 4 connected. Terminals 5, 7, and 8 should be isolated. In the off position, continuity should be indicated with terminals 5 and 8 connected and terminals 2 and 4 connected. Terminals 1, 3, 6, and 7 should be isolated. Finally, in the park position, continuity should be indicated with terminals 5 and 8 connected. Terminals 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 7 should be isolated. Note the terminals 2 and 4 break as park is selected. If the ohmmeter readings for the relay or the switch are different from those specified, a defective relay or switch is indicated. As with the MGB, the wiring harness should be checked using the procedures from our first electrical troubleshooting FASTI program. Your workbook contains wiring diagrams and troubleshooting procedures for all current BLM cars. This completes electrical troubleshooting part two. When the program stops, go to your workbook and read all the material. Then, take the review quiz. The end. Revived by Jaguar Clubs of North America, JCNA and Coventry Foundation. Please note, all special tools shown here, apart from the Sun Workstation, are available under the JCNA, Coventry Foundation Members Tool Loan Program. Please see www.jcna.com and coventryfoundation.org. Thank you.